Um, she was such a powerful character this season. Not that she wasn't previously, but becoming a captain of the ship, it felt very organic. What was it like bringing that story to a head, and where do we see her go from here? Yeah, it's funny because uh, for so many people, they're like, wow, like, a woman is in charge, like, crazy. <laughs> and I'm like, is it really that, like, big of a deal? Like, it seems kind of natural progression for the character and just for her to step into that role. Like, it, it, it made sense, but um, I guess for where we are sometimes in society that it, it is a big deal, and so I... I'll appreciate that as, you know, kind of expanding on, on, on the equality and just capabilities of women. And I think in, I don't know where they're going to take it next season. What I've read so far, I'm still captain. Uh, but, you know, it's hard to hard to stay in power for very long. And also, I think being in any kind of position in power can be a, 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 lonely, a lonely place. And also, she... she takes a lot of responsibility on already and now it's like she's taking on everybody else's and see how she feels with it. Given that Rick kind of formally has uh, since we were at the end of last season, where does their relationship stand this season? Well Rip comes back with this new Time Bureau thing and they're like this well oiled FBI kind of thing, and we're like a local police force or something trying to like handle it. Um, and I think for us since season one, it's always been about the, these people wanting to prove themselves, wanting to make the world better, and they, they find themselves in this position again where people are like, no, like, go away, like, you're trouble, you can't do anything. And we're like, no, we can do this, we can help. Uh, and of course, we messed everything up, but <laughs> maybe sometimes for the better. I would love to hear just how you feel about the Arrowverse in general because you've been with the network for so long. Like Sarah as a character, being a member of the Lance family, having history with Oliver and Slade, and then moving forward to Legends. Like, how does that feel for you as an, as an actress and Sarah as a character? Um. As a character, it's been a really nice progression, and I really uh, commend the writers on the, the journey that they were able to take her and kind of develop her is, is, is really cool. As an actress, it's weird, just because, I don't know, when I signed up for Arrow, it was like a couple episodes, and it turned into like the next, you know, whatever, four years of my life. Which is wild because it, it's really all encompassing. Like it's not just like your nine to five. Like it's everything. So it, it's weird. <laughs> are you uh, are you hoping we'll see what Canary and Black Siren maybe cross paths at some point? For sure. Uh, Katie, Cassie, and I are good friends, and I love our chemistry on, on screen. And they're it does, I don't have a sister, so she really feels like my sister. And when we have those scenes, we get together again, like, they, that stuff's just all there. And the, kind of the drama and human element, which I, I love so much. And sometimes when you're in the time traveling, like, get the spirit of destiny. Like, you, you miss some of that sometimes. And every time we have a scene together, it's very much about those human things. So I'd love for us to, to get together again. And I think... As a, an actress and as uh, the character, it would be heartbreaking to not have that be my sister anymore. So I'm curious to see how it play out. Sarah had a pretty tough season last year with um, her sister dying and taking her leadership role. Do you think in season three it's going to get a little bit lighter for Sarah? Or do you think that's still going to be a tough fight? I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with it. I mean, Sarah's like, she's good at being dark, uh, that's for sure. I'm good at being dark. Like that's a, I, you know. But now we're on a comedy, which is weird because I'm like came from Arrow where I'm like, Ugh, like I'm a murderer, like dark. And then all of a sudden we're like, okay, hey, the show's a comedy. Like I'm like, wait, that I don't. That's, how do I do this? Um, but but it's fun. And it's, you know, kind of part of her progression. What was the most fun for you to film this season, this sort of time period or story? 
Well, wait, we're only like two weeks in, two or three weeks in, but oh, last season. Well, this season, I don't know. I've been doing some cool stunt stuff this season. We just on Thursday shot a really cool wire stunt, and I love doing wires, and it's not something I get to do a lot because it takes a long time to rig this stuff. But it's cool. And there's so many elements that kind of go into it to make things happen. And you're just like flying through the air and doing things that you would never be able to do like on your own. And so hopefully I'll get to do more of that. So. Are you looking forward to any time periods that have come up in the, that have already been public? Well, I hear we're going to the 80s soon. That should be pretty fun. I'm always down to go back into the 70s if you can't tell. Like, I'm supposed to be in the 40s. 